Hey, what is going on everybody? So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to hook up your Canon M50 directly to your TV. This way you can view all your photos and videos directly from the TV. You can also put this in video mode and have it in live view. So looking at your uh, Canon M50 here, if you open up this part here, you can see you have two ports here. The one on the bottom here, this is a micro HDMI. So this is what you need to plug into your TV. You need a micro HDMI to HDMI. And this cable here is a micro HDMI to an HDMI, as you can see here. And this is a six foot cable here. These are relatively cheap on Amazon. I'll go ahead and put a link below, but you can get all different sizes as well. Don't go out and get a mini USB. You can see the difference here between a mini USB, between a micro USB. This mini here works on my other Canon 750D or T6i DSLR. However, for this Canon M50, you need a micro HDMI to HDMI. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to my TV and I'll show you some demonstrations here. So I'll plug this in here and I'll plug the other HDMI into my TV. So obviously it's on HDMI 2 because I have no other ports that are like highlighted. So HDMI 2 it is. And then once you turn on the, um, your camera and you put it to the correct HDMI, it should pop up right away. Okay, so now let me go ahead and show you this here. Let me just go ahead and look down here. And I'll go ahead and open up this viewfinder here. There's nothing going to be on the viewfinder here, as you can see. Let me go ahead and move this over a little bit. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is take a few pictures, and then I'll go ahead and do a video here. So let me just go ahead on to portrait up here. And let me go ahead and show you what the TV looks like here. Basically, it takes the place of your viewfinder. You can see all the numbers down here and everything else up here. And again, the viewfinder on the actual camera is going to be blank. And you can see, I'll, let me go ahead and move around a little bit. You can see it's live view directly on my TV. So let me go ahead and just take a quick photo here. Let me go ahead and like zoom in right here. And let me go ahead and focus on this. And let's go ahead and take a quick snapshot here. Just like that, so there's a snapshot there. Now let's go ahead and go into video mode. Let me go ahead and so let me go ahead and pop this on right here. And let's go ahead and take some quick footage here, okay? Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Let's go ahead and zoom all the way out. We'll ahead zoom all the way back in here. And let me go ahead and stop the video recording. All right, let me go and shut this viewfinder here because it's blank anyway. Let me just close that and let's look at the uh, photos and videos here. So let me go ahead and press on the playback button right here. And we can see that last video that we just took. If I go back here, we can see that photo that I just took. Let's go ahead and play the video first here. I'm going to go ahead and press on play right now. Remember that the volume actually comes directly out from the TV because it's hooked up via HDMI. Okay, so let me go ahead and press on play. Okay, so that was the video, and of course you can see the photo that we just took here. So it's pretty simple to hook this up. It's pretty much plug and play. The only thing I have to say is if you're still having trouble once you hook up the uh, micro HDMI to the uh, HDMI to the back of your TV, and you're still not able to get your uh, any picture, what you may want to do is do a factory reset or a uh, reset back to factory defaults. Because I had an issue on my Canon 750D before where I just could not get it onto the uh, TV until I did a restore the factory default. And then all of a sudden, as soon as I plugged everything in, it worked right away. So that's pretty much it. If you guys still have like issues, comment below. Maybe I can help you guys out. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.